In this video, I will show you how you can get uh, VO2 Max reading on any Apple Watch. So it works on Apple Watch 3 and up. So all the Ultra and Series 9 and pretty much all of them will give you VO2 Max. So you can see the VO2 Max in your health app, basically on your phone only. So, and it's called under this cardio fitness. Uh, so also it will most probably be, be displayed here in no date available here. So when you click on it, we can see this VO2 max here. So what if uh, you are actually uh, doing the things that it says you need to do, but you are not getting this cardio fitness VO2 max as well. And the, the Apple Watch are very well known for uh, being uh, very fussy with this VO2 max uh, measurement giving. So there are two things you need actually a few things you need to consider uh, basically uh, how to get the VO2 max first uh, you need to do a 20 minute out outdoor walk or run basically and it needs to be good on a basically on a flat surface and with good GPS signal basically then lastly it needs to be about 30% uh, at least about your about your resting heart rate basically so uh, you can go to your phone basically and um, okay click the heart tab basically and find your resting heart rate and basically take this number and at least uh, at least 30 percent above that so for example your your resting heart rate is 70 you need to keep your um, heart rate at least 91 over that 20 minute period basically to get a VO2 max reading. So in reality you should uh, probably look that you are getting at least maybe 95 heart rate if you have 70 resting heart rate. So around 95 to 100 keep in that range and it should give you your VO2 max result. Then what if it still doesn't give you that VO2 max result as again it, they are very very fussy as uh, these Apple watches and they yeah it's very known fact that they don't give you VO2 max results easily especially the first time so there are two other tricks you can do if it's not giving you this VO2 max so uh, if you are doing all these things basically and it's still not giving you VO2 max then we can what we can do uh, for the first reading basically we can turn our watch to airplane mode while we do this exercise. So turn your watch to airplane mode, uh, start a tracked exercise basically. So start for example walking. Again, make sure all these things you met for 20 minutes on flat surface with good GPS and yeah, above resting heart rate that and uh, then obviously walk for 20 minutes or run and then uh, make sure you finish the workout end it and then you can turn back off that airplane mode and go to your phone and see if it actually gives you that vo2 max reading i don't know why this works but apparently it does works then uh, last thing what else you can do is we can uh, trigger a manual entry first on our phone as i said the problem most uh, most often is it doesn't provide you the first reading after you get your first reading it works pretty much good after that and this is a problem for uh, pretty much all apple watches it's kind of wonky basically so we can go to the cardio fitness tab and click this add data okay and we can basically add just a random value basically so click add and you see it even displays it in your chart somewhere here so then again, you can repeat this whole process, go for another walk or run, and it should start giving you your VO2 max the next time. Again, this is a very known bug on these Apple watches, and they're very, very pussy. So two things, they usually work after these things. And after you get your first reading, the watch will start giving you basically VO2 max very rel reliably, basically. So if it was helpful, Make sure to hit the like button. See you.